Everyone, welcome. I'm not one to make big introductions, especially since, to be honest, I forgot what I was going to talk about. But place him in front. Uh, Barry Reitman happens to be a relative of mine, he's a cousin, and uh, he, he always hawks us in China about uh, his expertise, and I still buy the book, even though I'm a relative of yours, I bought the book. <laughs> Barry Reitman credits his system for various successes, from ranking the top 10 nationally at major sales division of Litton Industries, to promotion as senior ship supervisor of nuclear reactor. <laughs> nuclear reactor construction on the first. Does that have to do with Iran? He also credits his memory shock system, and he has a website called memoryshock.com, which is about the system that he developed. With earning him an entry into the 2009 World Series of Poker main event in Las Vegas. <laughs> Barry has presented his system to schools, corporations, and associations throughout the country, including two units of the State University of New York, and he regularly lectures at the New York Police Department Academy. He tells us that by the conclusion of this session, everyone here will have a better memory. Most of us will be able to remember easily nine or ten new names and faces in one, in one pop, in one moment. And we'll have a technique to remember everything from shopping lists to sermons. So anyhow, without further ado, Mr. Barry Wright. Thank you, Rabbi Tom. You're welcome. There, uh, by the way, there is no truth to the story that when Rabbi Dove moved from his native New York right here in Brooklyn to the state of California, the per capita IQ of both states went up. No truth to that. <laughs> Uh, thank you for having me. And, and by the way, speaking of California, uh, I know that when he did start out the Chabad, the Tonsnard, California, one of the many chores, this was someplace in between, that he had to do was fundraising. I think we're all familiar with that. Uh, and the first call that he made was to the wealthiest man in the community. And he, he got the fellow on the phone, and he told him why he was calling. And the man said, uh, I should give you what? How much money are you looking for? And, and Doug was not prepared for the question, and just $10,000. And the fellow said, well, let me tell you something, Rabbi. My dear mother, that guy is 85 years old. The nursing home costs $120,000 a year. My son, made it to Brandeis University, $32,000 a year. My brother, the Vishnugadak, the bum, owes $14,000 to the bookies. If I don't help him out, they're going to break his legs. So my question is, if I don't give to them, why should I give to you? <laughs> that concludes the humor portion of my presentation. I'm going to do a brief demonstration, and then I'll tell you something about my skills and lack of skills, and, and how you might also benefit. The New York Times crossword puzzle, uh, which most people don't do anymore, but it's interesting. It's published each day, so each one, of course, is different. Uh, Rabbi Dove, would you please look at the top of the page and confirm that it is today's date? Too many moving parts? We don't read the New York Times. I know, it goes from left to right. <laughs> the New York Times, Thursday, November 8, 2012. So this is the crossword puzzle that was published this morning. There's a copy in front of most of the seats, but I did not have enough for everyone. Uh, so Rabbi Dove has graciously consented to me my assistant. What we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to call out numbers. What I do when I do the puzzle is all of the crosswords, or I try to. Uh, because if you fill in all the crosswords, you fill in every cell on the puzzle, just as if you fill in all the downwards, you fill in every cell. I prefer the crosswords. Um, so I'm going to ask folks to call out a number. I will try, certainly no one can get them all, but I'll try to tell you the clue, the answer to the clue for that number going across. And then, after I do that, Rabbi Dove will read, for those who don't have a copy, will read the clue across, 
and the answer that's in the puzzle. So that's the first part of your job. You're testing us? You're um, testing you. <laughs> well, there is a second part to your, to your duties as the assistant. And here's what it is. If they call out a number, and I get it wrong, your job is to say in a clear, loud voice, that's amazing, and crumple up the paper and put it in your pocket, okay? <laughs> so, if anyone would like to call out the number of anywhere, yes? 20. Number 20 across is a, uh, is a football player, is Eli Manning. By the way, it's, it's an unusual puzzle today because Thursdays they try to make it a bit difficult, so you'll see that instead of exactly one letter in each cell, wherever the, the letters M-A-N, man, fit, they squeeze it into one cell. It makes it interesting. Anybody else? Someone, please. Six, yeah. 65. 65 across. It sounds like it should be teens, T-E-E-N-S. Would you please read the clue? Yeah. Awkward years for many. Okay, that worked. <laughs> Anyone else? 47. 47 is MICA, M-I-C-A, please. It's flaky. Well, it is. One more. 49. 49 across is dissuade, please. Deter. For the rest of the puzzle, I will be in the bar betting beers. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me tell you a little bit about me. Uh -huh.